I want to say a really big thank you to Lifa Austria. You, you, your, your life, your life changing, your life savers. Like without Lifa, I don't know where I would have been actually, because the sponsorship program helped me a whole lot. At that time, my mom was the breadwinner. You know, I and my three little siblings. So from 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 the Lifa program, I was able to, you know, complete my education at that time. And even though I was supposed to stop at the primary school level, there was an extension up until my secondary school. So I want to say a very big thank you to Lisa. I want to say a very big thank you to my godmother, Gertrude Leda, though I've never met her before, but I'm always really grateful. I'm always really grateful for being a part of Lisa. And I just hope that you continue to do this, you continue to, to extend your love for humanity down to Africa because the, the, the margin here, the gap here between the, the rich and the poor is so wide and a lot of people here really need help. A lot of people need help. So I thank you so much for what you're doing. God bless you. I appreciate. I appreciate. God bless you. And then one little question from the professional side and from the administrative side of the Giffa Austria, the Giffa Nigeria Foundation. Uh, what contribution do you think you can give in terms of advice, in terms of uh, uh, leadership role in enhancing the activities of IFA uh, uh, Foundation Nigeria? Do you think if called upon sometime, someday, that you'll be able to be co-opted into the IFA, IFA Foundation Nigeria organization and then be able to give some assistance in terms of pushing this project forward and making it more lively than as it is now. Okay. Of course, I definitely can take up that position, that leadership position, because I've been opportune to go down to the grassroots. I've been opportune. Even my coming down to the east was for me to be able to go to some area, see how the people are living. Like I was in, I was somewhere at Isikwato, uh, Nigeria, Abia State. I was in Okibe. I was in Uba, not somewhere in Imo State. I was in Akaibom State. So I, I, in fact, the 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 rate of poverty is abject. So I was able to, you know, see and fish out a lot of people who actually really need help. There are lots of students here who want to go to school, who really end to, you know, who really yearn for um, solid education. But they can't get that because they, they don't have the means. So given the chance, I'll, I, 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 would, I would make sure I get to the grassroots and then maybe we can form a team or something, probably in different states, you know, and have an, an umbrella maybe somewhere at the Federal Capital Territory or Lagos, wherever he chooses, you know, that to be. So that we can, you know, come together and touch um, lives of these children. Like in Nigeria, you get to see a lot of talent. So many children are talented. But I'm telling you, those talents cannot go far if they are not pushed. Those talents, they cannot go far if they don't have a... Um, if they don't have people to sponsor them. Those talents, those children, those talents will die. A lot, a whole lot of talents, you won't believe. So Nigeria really needs help. We really need help here. And that won't be a problem whenever I'm called up, uh, upon and ready. You see, because uh, we have been faced with very of challenges. And we want the youth, the HIFA youth, the HIFA sponsored youth, to come on board mm -hmm. and to help in projecting the HIFA Foundation Nigeria, the HIFA Austria, as we have been seeing in the Facebook, the present, the, the present uh, 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 president of the HIFA Austria, uh, Mrs. Turike, Pat Turike Maya, she's doing her best in projecting and advertising the HIFA in the whole world. Do you think that when you are made, when you are given an opportunity to be a part of the HIFA planning, planning committee, that you'll be able to raise the standard of HIFA in Nigeria to the level we are expecting? Of course I will. I've taken certain positions um, um, in, my, in my workplaces, yeah. and I definitely get the best, because I am someone who is open to 
you know learning i am open to new opportunities i am open to trying to build humanity you know so i i think how, how we, i think how we're going to achieve that is that um if there's a way all the hifa children can be called upon if there's a secular or something or i don't know how if if the hifa children can be reached i'm a hifa child from 1989 that's a long time and the impact of hifa in my life like i i it cannot be overrated like i've i've gained so much from hifa like i'm always thankful for hifa so if we can get the Hifa children together, I think that should be like the first thing, sending a secular or messages to every child who was a part of Hifa. Fine, that's, I think that would be the first step. Then from there, we can proceed to, you know, having teams, probably having an umbrella first, where you have, you know, a couple of Hifa children who are really, who really have the passion for humanity. Then from there, we can now build, you know, other, you know, channels in different states and, and in different places. That way we can be able to reach out to the whole lot of people. But if given the opportunity, I'll really appreciate, I'll really appreciate it and I'll give it my best. 